my videos last week and I had a lot of people messaging me on Facebook and Twitter and they were like, oh my god, you have a dog. Yes, I have a dog. His name is O, just the alphabet O. And uh, O is absolutely wacky and adorable. And he's so wacky and adorable that I decided to dedicate this episode on some of the craziest and wackiest things that dogs do and that you could ever hear about a dog. If you have a pet, then can you please send me a photograph? You can uh, tweet it to me, you can send it to me on Facebook. My Facebook, Twitter handles are here. And uh, there's lots of pictures of O on Instagram as well. So here it is. The whack with some of the craziest things that you've ever heard about dogs. So one of the people that owns the most number of dogs that has ever been recorded in history turns out to be Kublai Khan. He actually had 5,000 mastiffs. If you've seen a mastiff, that's a picture of one, it's so big. 5,000 of them. But then you know what? If you're the ruler of like China and a couple of other sovereigns around, I don't think you're like really worried about space. And uh, a lot of the descendants actually of Kublai Khan were the ones that were responsible for bringing out the Pekingese breed and that's like this dog which is so tiny and the reason they tried doing that and making the dog as small as possible is because apparently the emperors used to take the Pekingese dog and keep it in their sleeves so that it was the last line of defense if somebody came to attack him. Somebody's come to attack an emperor and his last line of defense is this tiny little Pekingese dog that's gonna come barking out from his sleeve. Who's there? What's there? Why is it there? So O's actually trained to bark every time I say anything that begins with W. See? And did you know that the Basenji is the world's only barkless dog? Does that dog even then qualify to be a dog? Because if he doesn't bark, in my world, I don't know if that is actually a dog. And also, uh, the seeing dogs, the dogs that are used by blind people, those dogs are made to actually go to the loo on command. So the command is, get busy. And as soon as you say the words, get busy, the dog will poo or pee or do whatever it needs to do. Do you know how helpful something like that is? There are those monsoon days, barish ho rahi hai, aur main ek ghandi, matlab, o ke saath niche khadi ho and I'm waiting for him to go to the bathroom. But I discovered a way around that and I actually say the words, oh, do potty, oh, do potty. I look really strange because there are these people who are like walking past me and I'm talking to my dog and I'm going, oh, do potty, oh, do potty. Also, did you know that greyhounds, they actually get their name out of a mistake that happened in translating. The original name for the greyhounds is Grishon, Grishon, something like that. That's, that's what the word means. And that word actually means old and not grey. But somehow, because the dogs look grey and whoever the translator was was really lazy, he was like, ha ah, ha, grey, grey, greyhound, wait, 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 wait. We all wish we had a dog's life. And you will definitely want to wish that you had this dog's life. His name is Gunther and he's the world's richest dog. He has $145 million that actually his dad inherited, which his daddy doggy passed on to uh, baby doggy. And uh, this dog is actually so cool that he recently bought Madonna's Miami house. Yeah, right. The dog bought the house. There's three buttons that you need to press. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you again very soon from me and O. Ciao! This series is so amazing. I started it only like two days back. I'm only on episode four. But I got so excited. I was like, oh, I have to share it with you. This is like birds, animals, parts disgusting things. So I thought I should definitely make an episode out of this.